life is always full of surprises, and sometimes just a small action can change the whole thing. There's a story that I really want you to think about. Once upon a time, there were some frogs walking through a forest. Unfortunately, two of them fell down into a deep hole. At first, their friends were really worried. They gathered around and tried to help the two frogs. But after a while, noticing that the hole is too deep, the group told the two frogs that there's no chance left. But they didn't care. They kept jumping and jumping in desperate, trying to hold on to their small chance of life. But their friends keep saying that all of their effort was useless, and they would have to die here. Gradually, one frog was knocked down by those words. It hit its head into the ground and killed itself. The other frog remains. He didn't care. He kept jumping and jumping, never give up. The more loudly they convinced him to give up, the higher he jumped. And finally, he escaped the hole in everyone's amazement. Now, when he escaped, his friend came and asked, "Didn't you hear us? Why did you keep jumping?" And you know why? That frog was mostly deaf. He thought that his friend was cheering him on all the time. Now think about it: if that frog would have heard the cruel things that his friend said to him, do you think that he would have survived being on the brink of death? The frog was thinking that his friend was cheering him on all the time, and that ideology had changed into an invisible potential that pushed him to keep going and not to surrender to fate. Now I want to share a bit about my story. Back then, three years ago, I was a really shy girl. Every day, I just went to school and do my work. I've never raised my hand to join any competitions or school activities, or even just to answer a question in class. I have to be honest that my biggest fear was to be in the public eye, and because of that, my life just went on and on with a safe and stereotypical routine. I've never believed that I could do anything well. However, everything changed when I joined a competition about public speaking in sixth grade. Sixth grade was when I moved from my old primary school into a new secondary school. Everything was new to me. At that time, me and my classmate, we literally knew each other for less than three months. But at lunchtime, before I began my speech, they secretly drew me a small picture with four lovely images and encouraging quotes that they wished for me. Here you can see the the biggest blue word in the middle. It was my name, and I still don't understand why they gave me that name. <laughs> But I was so surprised. I didn't know that I have that much love for my classmate. It was an indelible feeling. When I was on stage and ready to begin my speech, I could see all below me. My best friend, the person who sat next to me, or even the guy that I've, I've never talked to. I could see them all clearly in my eyes. How they shouted and how their arms keep waving in random directions. I was so happy. It's a feeling that I've never encountered before. I've never felt that way in my life. All of a sudden, I realize that there are lots of people who love me and who will always be there to support me, even if I fail or succeed. And with my fear gone, I step up on stage, grab my microphone, and start speaking. All of a sudden, I realize that. 
I don't need to be a perfect person. I just need to do my best. Because if there are people who believe that I can do this, then why don't I believe that I can really do this, right? That year, I didn't receive the prize. But you know what? I got a way bigger present. That is the love and trust that the class dedicated to me. Those are the gifts that I promise to cherish for the rest of my life. And I've heard a song that said, like a small boat on the ocean, sending big waves into motion, like how a single word can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion. And what they said to me that day had really set an explosion within me. I started to believe that I have more than I thought. I started to act and sing in my school event. I joined in many competitions, believing that I can do this. One event was the World School Cup, where we have to debate, to write essays, and to compete with students from more than 50 countries. I went to a foreign country, I met foreign friends, I debate with them, I have fun with them, with all of my confidence. And whenever I feel that things are so hard and I can't get over it, I just remember about a moment when I saw a lot of people, they were all there to support me. And I feel very supported. I feel that I can do anything. And now I can stand on this stage in front of many people to share the ideas about this topic. Standing here wasn't an easy decision at all. But I know that I can't tie myself on the time. I need to push myself to the limit to see if I can stand up and break it. And I don't accomplish anything by my own. I have my family, my teachers and friends who always support me. I owe them a big thank you. Now I want you to close your eyes and think about your feeling for a second. Think about when you know that no matter where you are or what you're doing or who you would, there will always be someone who will be there and support you. And whenever you know that things are so hard and you can't get over it. The images of those people who love you and who you love just appear in your mind and magically change into some kind of energy that push you to keep going. At that time, you know that you are strong as a mountain, as brave as a warrior, because you have something to live for, someone not to disappoint. Words are hidden weapons. They are beautiful, they are powerful. They can bring people up very quickly, but they can also be a sharp knife that kills us, hurtful in our soul. Suli Choi is a famous singer and actress of Korea who had just ended her life at the age of 25, the age when most people had just started their life. And when this news went viral, there are many comments saying, I can't believe this. How can this happen? People just can't believe how some text, how some judgment kill a person. It can. Before Suli decided to do this to her life, she used to say, I'm exhausted. I feel that I can't stand this anymore, but no one listened to me. Melissa's comment, cyberbullying. Please don't see them as a couple of sentences. They can really kill a person. And maybe you can see their beautiful smile on stage for how energetic they are, but deep inside, they're already dead. And a person with a dead soul is just like a hollow tree. They will die in a day or two. You just can't take back what you said, people. 
So please be careful with every single word because you don't want to hurt the person that you cherish. So instead of judging, there's just one thing you need to do. Let's say, come on, we can do this. Those words are so simple, so easy, but can make a big effect. They are fire that light up any death soul. They are the sun that shine our way through darkness. Inside each of us, fear always exists. And sometimes we just don't have the strength to overcome them. But an encouragement can make us become braver and stronger to step another step onto the way that we've chosen it and come toward our dreams. And if you have someone who will always be there to support you whenever you feel sad, then believe me, you are the luckiest person in this world. So when your dad come home from a tiring day, give him a hug and use your smile to charge his energy. If you are a friend, when you team up with someone, always give them a high five, even if they did well or not. And if you are a parent, when your children didn't do well on the test, tell them that they can always do better next time. And don't forget to tell them that they're the best thing you've ever have. Ladies and gentlemen, today you encourage people who are at their most despondent. Today you know that you've changed how someone see the world. Make them become braver and stronger to step another step onto the way that they've chosen and come toward our dreams. Tomorrow those people will use what you've told them to change how their friends see the world. Your hands are tiny, but never refuse to open them if someone needs a warm hug. Your voice is small but never stop singing. The melody of love and belief that can cure broken heart in a magical way. So do give yourself a round of applause if you said something positive to someone today. Because you've contributed to make this world a better place to live. Let's use our matches to make an explosion. Thank you.